late July tomato update. I'm fixing to bring, cut the heirlooms out. And I wanted to keep track of who did good and who didn't. I've got some um, trampoline netting up here, working as shade cloth over my tomatoes and peppers. Um, this side is daughter witchies. They're about done. I mean, they're done. I just pulled the last big tomato off of those and they're coming out. I got a ton of tomatoes off of these this year. I think if I'd have been on top of hand pollinating, I would have gotten so much more. And there were five plants here um, and they're all, like I said, done. There, I did get a few suckers off the tops. I may grab a few more and root those because there's still some green leaves on a couple of these plants. These two plants are done. I have a crimson sprinter that's still hanging on. Um, I pulled out all the other crimson sprinters. Um, they were looking terrible by May. But this one's still looking good. It has a few tomatoes on it. Uh, this side was all the pink German. We were really happy with the pink German. They're still quite green at the top. I, I got a few suckers off of these, but the, the plants are looking sick. We had our biggest tomato off of these German pinks. We're still ripening some pretty good size, some pretty big tomatoes. And there are still quite a few really big tomatoes. These had went in after the daughter witchies and I was doing the hand pollinating a lot better. And I think that's why I've got so many still. Look at those down there. Two big ones. These tomatoes are not under the shade. Um, I believe I had two uh, green zebras that did not make it. I don't know what happened. But they didn't grow very much and then they died. I have, I think, two pineapples. And the pineapples seem to be doing good. This one's really tall. And I've started to get some fruit, pretty good sized fruit, off of these two. Um, there were a couple of black creme here that are done. The black creme seem to have gotten some type of a disease that's turned the leaves black. There were two other plants here that I believe were also black creme that, although I'm not sure, that I pulled out when I started seeing this black. But then I, then I decided to leave the last one and see what happened. So that's a black creme. There was also a cherry tomato here that seems to have bit the dust. Um, I have that same cherry tomato there. I have a coyote ch cherry tomato here that's still doing okay. This is where the worms started. So we lost a lot of tomatoes to worms this year, especially early on when I didn't know that the worms were out. And then this pink cherry down here, I don't know, this, I, this I'm pretty sure came from my saved seeds. So it's probably a tropical sunset cross pollinated with either the mountain, uh, mountain mist or mountain sunrise or black cherry, but it's a really pretty pink cherry and it's tasty. So I wanna to try to save seeds from this one. But the rest of them that I saved seeds from are striped uh, tropical sunset. Anyway, that's an update on the spring tomatoes. It's end of July, taking these out and I think I'm putting in red ripper peas. And I've saved, oh, let me show you the paste tomatoes. The paste tomatoes are over here. They get a lot more shade, which isn't ideal, but these opulcas are doing really well. Um, these are hard pruned to one or two liters and they've got good clumps of tomatoes on them. I took some suckers off of these just now. I'm gonna replace, there's quite a few tomatoes in this that had died or that I'm taking out. I'm gonna replace those with suckers off of the opolka. 
I have a, a couple of San Marzano's. I just pulled one of them out because it died. I don't know why. And this one is getting blossom and rot real bad. But um, I pruned it real good. And the ones that are on it don't have blossom and rot. So we'll keep an eye on that. I did take some suckers off of it because I'm going to try a few more. This is my last Brad's Atomic Grape. It's the only one this year that's done very good. Um, I have had a tiny bit of blossom and rot on the Opolka, but not like on the San Marzano. I'm sure if I was watering better. I'm trying to keep these watered. This is my newest bed on this side and it's only a few inches deep and then hard packed clay. So I'm pretty impressed with the tomatoes at this point anyway. This is supposed to be an opalka, but it's got a bunch of tiny paste tomatoes on it, so I don't know. I think this is a slicer that I stuck in at the last moment. It's fixing to come out as soon as I get those big tomatoes off. This is a Golden King. I had two of these. They're not, they didn't do very well at all, and the worms got into those, but I'm hoping to save those. I've got a few summer tomatoes put in here, but I don't know how they're going to do the Florida 91, a Lemon Boy over there, and a two Roadster, I think. I've got a cherry tomato that was supposed to be a paste tomato. Um, I may prune it really hard. It's a red cherry. I may prune it really hard and keep it, or I may pull it out. It depends on how many of these suckers take root. If I need a place to put a paste sucker, I'll probably pull it out. But I'm going to pull out everything on this end. There's a Brad's Atomic Grape on this side that isn't doing very well. So I'm just gonna pull everything on this end and replace it with paste suckers. And that's all of the tomato update.